Introduction A complete bed bath cleans the patient's skin, stimulates circulation, provides mild exercise, and promotes comfort. Bathing also allows assessment of skin condition, joint mobility, and muscle strength. Depending on the patient's overall condition and duration of hospitalization, he may have a complete or partial bath daily. Complete bed bath, bath administered to totally dependent patient in bed. Partial bed bath, bed bath that consists of bathing only body parts that would cause discomfort if left unbathed such as the hands, face, axilla, and perineal area. Partial bath also includes washing back and providing back rub. Dependent patients in need of partial hygiene or self-sufficient bedridden patients who are unable to reach all body parts receive a partial bed bath. Equipment Washcloths and bath towels Bath blanket Cleansing product for bath Toiletry items, deodorant, lotion Disposable wipes Warm water Clean hospital gown or patient's own pajamas or gown. Continued. Laundry bag. Clean gloves. Wash basin. Disposable all-in-one package bath product if basin and water baths are not performed. Eye patch slash shield and non-allergenic tape for unconscious patient. Preparation of equipment. Adjust the temperature of the patient's room and close any doors or windows to prevent drafts and provide privacy. Determine the patient's preference for skin cleaner and other hygiene aids because some patients are allergic to soap or prefer bath oil or lotions. Procedure Gather the equipment on an overbed table or bedside stand. Perform hand hygiene Confirm the patient's identity using at least two patient identifiers. Tell the patient you'll be giving him a bath and provide privacy. Offer him a bedpan or urinal if needed. Help the patient into the supine position if possible. Continue. If the patient's condition permits, encourage him to assist with bathing to provide exercise and promote independence. Fill the bath basin two-thirds full of tepid to warm water and bring it to the patient's bedside. Alternatively, use tepid to warm water directly from the patient's spigot. Raise the patient's bed to a comfortable working height to avoid back strain. Continue. If the bed will be changed after the bath, remove the top linen. If not, fanfold it to the foot of the bed. Cover the patient with a bath blanket to provide warmth and privacy. Put on gloves and other personal protective equipment as needed to comply with standard. Continued. Remove the patient's gown and other articles such as elastic. Stockings, elastic bandages, and restraints as ordered. Place a towel under the patient's chin, then wash the patient's face. Begin with the eyes, working from the inner to the outer canthus without soap use a separate section of the washcloth for each eye to avoid spreading ocular infection. Continued. If the patient can tolerate a skin cleaner, apply it to the cloth and wash the rest of his face, ears, and neck using firm, gentle strokes. Rinse thoroughly because residual soap can cause itching and dryness. Dry the area thoroughly, taking special care in skin folds and creases. Observe the skin for irritation, scaling, or other abnormalities. Continued. Turn down the bath blanket and drape the patient's chest with a bath towel. Wash, rinse, and dry the chest and axillae, observing the patient's respirations throughout the procedure. Wash skin folds under the female patient's breasts by lifting each breast. Use firm strokes to avoid tickling the patient. If the patient tolerates deodorant, apply it. Replace the bath blanket to cover the patient's chest and axillae. Continued. Place a bath towel beneath the patient's arm farthest from you. Bathe the arm using long, smooth strokes and moving from wrist to shoulder to stimulate venous circulation. 
If possible, soak the patient's hand in the basin to remove dirt and soften the nails. Observe the color of his hand and nail beds to assess peripheral circulation. Follow the same procedure for the other arm and hand. Continued. Turn down the bath blanket to expose the patient's abdomen and groin, keeping a bath towel across his chest to prevent chills bathe, rinse, and dry the patient's abdomen and groin while checking for abdominal distension or tenderness. Then turn back the bath blanket to cover the patient's chest and abdomen. Continued. Uncover the patient's leg farthest from you and place a bath towel under it. Flex this leg and bathe it, moving from ankle to hip to stimulate venous circulation. Don't massage the leg, however, to avoid dislodging any existing thrombus, possibly causing a pulmonary embolus. Rinse and dry the leg. Continued. If possible, place a basin on the patient's bed, flex the leg at the knee, and place the foot in the basin. Soak the foot, and then wash and rinse it thoroughly. Remove the foot from the basin, dry it, and clean the toenails. Observe the patient's skin condition and color during cleaning to assess peripheral circulation. Repeat the procedure for the other leg and foot. Continued. Cover the patient with the bath blanket to prevent chilling. Then lower the bed and raise the side rails to ensure patient safety while you change the bath water. Remove and discard your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Put on new gloves. Roll the patient on his side or stomach, place a towel beneath him, and cover him to prevent chilling. Continued. Bathe, rinse, and dry his back and buttocks. Bathe the anal area from front to back to avoid contaminating the perineum. Rinse and dry the area well. Remove and discard your gloves. After lowering the bed and raising the side rails to ensure the patient's safety, perform hand hygiene and change the bath water again. Continued. Put on new gloves. Turn the patient on his back and bathe the genital area thoroughly but gently, using a different section of the washcloth for each downward stroke. Bathe from front to back, avoiding the anal area. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. Use a moisture barrier protectant. On the skin, as needed to protect and maintain intact skin. If applicable, perform indwelling urinary catheter care. Apply perineal pads or scrotal supports as needed. Continued. Remove and discard your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Apply a hypoallergenic moisturizing cream if needed to areas of dry skin to prevent skin breakdown. Dress the patient in a clean gown and reapply any elastic bandages, elastic stockings, or restraints removed before the bath. Put on gloves. Continued. Empty, clean, and disinfect the basin using a hospital-grade disinfectant. Remove and discard your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Put on new gloves. Remake the bed or change the linens and remove the bath blanket. Place a bath towel beneath the patient's head to catch loose hair and then brush and comb the hair. Continued. Return the bed to its original position and make the patient comfortable. Carry soiled linens to the hamper with outstretched arms. To avoid spreading microorganisms, don't let soiled linens touch your clothing. Remove and discard your gloves and any other personal protective equipment worn and perform hand hygiene. Document the procedure. Documentation. Record the date and time of the bed bath in the flowchart. Note the patient's tolerance of the bath, his range of motion, and his self-care abilities, and document any unusual findings.